Welcome to another episode of Riemann Studio Tricks. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to make a Detroit influenced chord loop on the Novation Peak. Um, all sounds you're hearing are coming from the peak including the effects and the sequencer is in this case the ARP. So I'm sending a chord in and if you go to ARP clock, you have to set the BPM, in this case 140, clock source internal, you could also sync it to a MIDI clock. Um, it's on chord type rhythm 16, it's going over 3 octaves, um, and the swing is 74 in this case. Let me quickly show you how I designed the sound. So we're hearing only oscillator one now. It's a sawtooth and there's a little bit of modulation. Um, I used the hardwired normalized modulation um, of the shape amount, in this case mod envelope one. Um, you're hearing the noise. Oscillator 2, um, I used a wavetable, you can see it in, um, if you go to oscillators, oscillator 2, um, it's called random, and this is playing a bit deeper, one octave down, and there, um, detuned with the fine tuning of the oscillators. This one is a little bit up and this one is a little bit down. This way you create um, yeah, this detuned feeling. And the third one adds a deeper bass, in this case a sine wave. Let's remove the noise so you can hear it better. So this is responsible for the bass amount. And the animate feature is really cool on the Novation Peak. Um, if I press button 1, animate 1, then an LFO goes to the filter frequency. Um, let's go to the mod page. Animate 1, so the source is animate 1, and the destination is the filter frequency and the source of the animate one is the LFO2 in plus minus mode. So it's giving the filter a synced triangle and um, you could change the rate to really fast or really slow. I choose something in the middle Yeah. 
and animate 2 goes to the filter resonance. So if we go to mod, you can see animate 2 is going to the filter resonance. So if you perform it live, instead of turning the knobs and remembering everything, you can assign uh, things to those two buttons. That's really cool. You could play around with the ARP um, as well if you want. Like could change the mode from chord to random um, in the middle of a track if it fits or up and down and then switch back to the chord mode and while you switch you could increase the delay feedback so I'm in chord mode I'm increasing the delay feedback. And then I change the mode. when I want to get go back to the chord mode I increase the delay feedback and switch back to chords Okay, I hope you learned something in this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to have sounds like this recorded in high quality, download the free sample pack. The link is in the description. See you next week.